guys, welcome back to Sega Spark Weekend Fantasy Star Universe. I'm Player One Anthony TZ, and uh, <laughs> as you can tell from my uh, clothes, this is a new session. And uh, I couldn't save right after the last episode because it started a cutscene-ish kind of thing. So I didn't want to like skip that part for you guys. So I kind of restarted the whole uh, shopping ordeal. That took about 10 minutes. So here we go. <laughs> huh? Ethan, are you there? Wow, you never call me! Our next mission has been assigned. <sighs> Look at my long, flowing locks. Okay, they're not that long, but hey, I've got some nice squishy hair. Okay, I shouldn't say squishy either. It's it's fluffy. Our next mission has been assigned. Come to the Guardian's branch in Holtez City as soon as possible. Gotcha. Yeah, I would have forgotten completely all about that. So, <laughs> let's save now. And then we go down to this one. What's level 8? We were never level 8. We were always at a level 11. Alright. Oh, my neck. Alright, so let's go to Holtez City. Alright. So how are you all doing today? I'm doing okay. Myself. Let's see here. How am I looking? I'm looking all right. Okay. Let's go to Param. Skip this cutscene because we've we've seen it enough. We'll never see enough of the opening intro, of course not. But every other cutscene, yeah, we can skip that <laughs> if we've seen it already. This is where I'm supposed to go, right? The Guardians branch. Maybe not. Uh, maybe yes. Welcome to Garal. All your future are belong to us. I almost forgot she, like, uh, was born not too long ago, so her speech is a little, still a little off. But come on, all your base belong to us. That has to be like a <coughs> a nod to that. Yeah, most likely. Ethan Weber, ma'am. I'm here to start my next mission. Yes, yes, yes. Letting me confirm the Guardian's license. Please be waiting. It is finished. Being done. The mission and instructor are waiting in meeting room. In the inside part. <laughs> in the inside part. All right. <laughs> I love her. Oh, hey, what's up? Today's mission will entail guarding the cargo of this train, the Malite 04. Do they really need the Guardians just to guard cargo? Well, the cargo in this instance seems to be rather precious. What do you mean? I believe that the cargo contains artifacts from one of the relics. Artifacts? You mean like an A photon reactor like what Dr. Dern was talking about? Yes. Oh! I don't know why, I just feel like I need to do that. I know, again, that that's not his voice, but come on, that would totally fit as his voice. I was wondering this before, finding that A Photon Reactor from the Relic site, is it really that big of a deal? Oh! 
Ethan, you really don't understand, do you? W why What do you mean? It's not in my field of expertise, so I don't know the exact scope of this, but... The A-Photon Reactor is a new energy system. That became a reality about 15 years ago. Oh, Pete talked a little bit about this. Artifacts with the same properties and capabilities were discovered among the remains and the relics of this ancient civilization. We gotta figure that out already. This has the, an extremely valuable significance from an archaeological viewpoint, as well as benefits for a photon research. That's why this sample holds immeasurable value. I feel like the voice I gave her wasn't that Mickey Mouse-ish. And see, that's about the only thing I understood. If you have an interest in A photons, it would benefit you to study up. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, all right. And one more thing. Recently, there's been a lot of rogue activity here. Rogues? The space pirates from Maotube? I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. An A photon reactor by itself holds enormous value. Not to mention something as rare as what we've got here. They want it badly, and for that reason, the Guardians have been called into duty. How much closer to the microphone must that be? Okay, I think I understand our mission now. I am practically making out with my microphone right here. Boom. I have no idea if that's going to sound good or bad. Sorry if I blow your guys' ears out. I have no idea. I took my headphones off. Okay, I think I understand our mission now. Let's get started already. Wait, Ethan. I'm a dance. There we go. There's still time before the Milat 4 is due to depart. And we've got one more person joining us this time. Yes. What? Who's coming with us? Another scholar? No, but it's someone you both know. Ooh. Usain Nave, Chief of the Training Institute. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. Headmaster of the Guardian's Training School. Headmaster Nav? Hugo, do you remember what he looks like? What he was like? No, I don't really remember much about him. Which will be convenient in the next cutscene that will happen. Well, he didn't participate directly in your course drills, so it's possible you never met him directly. Oh, that's right. But he is one strict instructor. You better brace yourselves. We gotta get more women on the show so that way I can get to people to do people's voices. Okay! It's almost speeding time. Let's head for the central plaza. Let's all go to the plaza. Let's all go to the plaza. Let's all go to the plaza. And we are there oh, already. It doesn't look like anyone's here. Well, this is where we're supposed to meet. Whoa! Ah! What's the matter? Someone just pinched me. What? What? <laughs> oh, it's Saburoshi! Reflexes, what's wrong with you, you pervert? And don't think we're going to let you off because you're an old geezer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that he's already on, talking, but I so want to give him Roshi's right. voice already. We're not letting this old perv get away. This is Headmaster Knave. Huh? This old fart is the headmaster? He is. Who are you calling an old fart? Who are you calling an old fart? Ah, Karen, you lost some of your edge. You should have caught me. I'm very disappointed. Yes, sir. Using perviness as a way to test one's. I never thought I'd have to sense see of knowing what's going on around them. I guess. Now you too. Y yes, yes, sir. I will be accompanying you to observe your progress. So be sure not to do anything that would embarrass the guardians. Understood? Yes, yes sir. Now, if you excuse me, I got some more butts to pinch. You must be Ethan Weber. Yes, sir. I see you're just as hot-headed and precocious as your father was. You knew who my father was then. Oh, yes. He was a well-respected guardian. 
I expect, young man, you will make your father very proud. Thank you, sir. Headmaster, we uh, should be on our way. Once you get an yes, itch, it just should. does not want to go away. So let's go. Itchy nose. Today's mission will be carried out while on a moving train. It goes without saying that there's no place to get off and no way to return to the city once it begins. So make sure you are adequately prepared. When you finish preparing, form a party with the four of us and we'll depart. Flawless reading! <laughs> Alright, sweet. When you are ready to add me to the party, either come to me directly or use my partner card. It's amazing how well I can just use that voice and just read flawlessly. Now watch as I screw this up. I'll be waiting by the linear train platform gate in the West District. Well then, you are dismissed. Holy crap, I didn't fumble once with that. It's like that voice was meant for that old man. <laughs> I love that voice so much, you have no idea. <laughs> it's the old Master Oshi technique. How are we looking on the camera? Oh, yeah, the camera looks good on me. <laughs> Alright, uh, well, we should take this time to, like, see if we can upgrade our equipment. Well, we're not a cast, so we don't need parts. And you don't really buy new clothes as Ethan, so... Uh... Ah, crap, I didn't want to actually go in there. Alright, that's where I want to go. The GRM. Shap. Alright, uh... Welcome. Let's see here. How may I assist you? Oh uh, yeah, we should definitely buy some of these things while we're here. Uh, let's see here. How many do we have? These do we have? We have twelve of those. So we're good. We got three soul atomizers, moon atomizers. We don't have any. It revives any incapac. Okay, yeah. Let's let's totally get some of that. Uh, I think three should be fine, right? Okay. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. That's cool. Unlikely explodes a few seconds after being set. Hmm. I never really used the traps or anything, so... Hmm. It couldn't hurt to have that. Alright. Thank you. Alright, let's check out our let's just double check our weapons. Alright, we got the big sword. Okay. We got a pike. Twin saber. Okay. Our brand, which is that. How do I have like no PP for that thing? I should probably sell that second purple line. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Eh, I could always use a new okay, gun, I guess. Take here, a let's look sell that uh, purple line. And this car line. Let's see here. Uh, I would only really keep that for sentimental value, but we don't really get much for it anyways. Like when I say sentimental, like the the handgun and the saber were the first two weapons that we got, and I'm a pretty sentimental guy. Like I'll keep a lot of things myself if it meant something to me. Please come again. Oh wait, we didn't check the weapons. <laughs> oh wow, Ooh, wow, that's okay. That's a uh, that's awesome. We might look into that. We don't have twin daggers, do we? Huh. Twin power gun ought to be interesting. 
Yeah, let's buy one of those. Let's buy a twin dagger. Wait, is that the one we want? No, we want the twin knife. Once we get that, we'll be pretty much out of money. So I think we should be good for now. Next time, we'll buy the Gigash. Please come again. Okay. This is what Hi I think there. I want next. Oh, armor. Okay. Okay, the purple line. White line. Yikes. Okay, so we're we pretty much got the highest rated one. Come again. This Welcome. is over here. Oh, you. it's the same exact shot. Uh, I think this is who I want to talk to Welcome. next. Can I help you? Oh, okay. Accuracy would be six. Wow. Hmm. I think I'll buy one of these two. Okay. Please come again. Hey there. You want something? Okay, let's see if we can buy some new uh, techniques for our weapons. Because we only have one! <laughs> Alright, we'll buy the tornado break. That'll be awesome. Alright, this ought to be cool, since we just got new dual-wielding knives. Ooh, twin burn, twin freeze, twin plasma? Ooh. I do love my lightning attacks! Oh wow. Okay, that's for staff users. We don't really use our staff. Okay, um... Uh, hmm. Alright, let's go with the twin plasma. That would be, uh, be awesome. And, uh... Yeah, why not? Oh, we have more stuff for more of our weapons. Thanks. And I think that's pretty much it. I love how there's a user ag agreement. Okay. Awesome! <laughs> you don't need to do the user agreement every time. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. Eh, why not? Awesome! <laughs> All right, cool. You're pretty much the same thing. Okay, let's equip all that stuff. How do I do that again? <laughs> Alright. Okay. What? I just bought one. Uh, didn't I just buy the photon arts? Oh, okay, this is how we do it. Okay. You gotta learn it first. Okay. The tornado break. It's linked, right? No. Okay. It's the it's the boring parts of an RPG, but we're we're prepping ourselves for a pretty awesome uh, time. All right, uh, and then we got this. I think that was it. We only bought three things, right? Or did we buy three or four things? I can't remember. Right, that was linked. 
Okay, I think we're I think we're good. So we're all prepped up. We've got more powerful weapons. We have the prop most strongest armor. And uh, the next safe port is right down by the trains, which we will go to next time. See y'all soon for more Fantasy Star Universe. Sorry for the very boring past two episodes. Hopefully, well, I know we're going to run into action soon. So, see y'all soon.